G'day, g'day, fellas, and welcome to the off-season for our JMU Dynasty. Now, these videos are a lot more laid back. There's not really a lot of editing. We go through the entire off-season together. Obviously, we just came off winning a national championship. We technically went 15-0, but I messed up with the Michigan game. But let's start out by checking out the stats, seeing what the dealio is. Santeo was third in the nation, which for us is really good. We even got Percy up to 53rd on the rushing list. So not a bad season by any stretch for Centeo. 38, 50, 18 touchdowns, 13 picks. That's a lot better than what I normally throw, so <laughs> there's that. Percy had 11, 50, 3.8 average and 40 touchdowns, 82 per game. He did win the Heisman, so good for him. Hopefully he gets drafted. On the receiving end, Painter had 1,300 yards by far our best receiver. Thornton bailed us out a lot. Ravenel did pretty well. He was a senior. Maxwell James, a freshman. 92 yards. So Percy even had 163 through the air. Dude was balling. The blocking was terrible. I mean, look at these sack numbers compared to the pancakes. Taurus Jones led the team in tackles by a lot. That was our user, obviously. 98 solo, 100 tackles in total. 21 TFLs, two sacks, and two picks. Did we only get two picks? Jalen Walker had 17 TFLs. Jermaine, Jamari Edwards with 13. Mikhail Kamara with 12. What about interception numbers? Coakley and Swan tied. Not bad at all. We did force a lot of fumbles. We had six of them. We score any defensive touchdowns? Only four defensive touchdowns as well. So, wow. Not really a lot going on. I thought we had much better stats than that. Uh, though Torres did do very well. Okay, so school record. Centeo breaks the passing yards in a season. That's pretty self-explanatory. Painter receiving yards in a season as well. Defense, we had nothing. And rushing, Percy had rushing touchdowns in a game, which was eight. And rushing touchdowns in a season, which was 40. Actually, it was more, but remember, again, the Michigan game, we scored like four touchdowns, so technically, Percy had 44 rushing touchdowns. Trent Hendrick is transferring to Charlotte. Can I... Oh, hold on a second. He is staying. Wow, okay, that was easy. Percy's not going to the draft. He's just graduating. We had nobody go to the draft. Zateo's just graduating. Painter's graduating. Mateo Jackson's gone. Thornton's gone. Swan's gone. Damn, so that's not as many players as I thought were leaving, but still, most of our heavy hitters are now gone. So how is Wayne Bennett going to bounce back from this? Wow. Okay, that's a lot of transfers. Unfortunately, they can't play this season, which really sucks. But we got a free safety, outside linebacker, two receivers, and a left. All right, so recruiting's going to be big. I don't actually remember what we need, but there are a couple... Oh. Oh, that's right, because this is a prestige dynasty, isn't it? So we had the 93rd best class. We're up to a two-star now. So now that we're a two-star, we're able to recruit two-star players, which is kind of nice. Was kind of hoping we'd jump two-star and go to three-star. That would get us on a fast road for uh, doing some nice things here. Wow, an off-season with no recruiting. What a shit off-season. <laughs> this is going to be the shortest video ever. Signing day. Okay, now we get a real reflection of where we're at. Yeah, we're still a two-star. I was kind of hoping that simulating a week might bump us up, but no. Every year we get out one five-star, and that was Jamar Russell, who will be taking over for uh, Todd Santeo. So who's our new running back then? We have Latrell Palmer, Solomon Van Horse, and Kalen Black. This is going to be difficult because all three of them are pretty good. You're going to have to let me know on this one. I don't actually know, but uh, let's get a look at the rest of the team on position changes real quick. Saving core looks mega ass. Maxwell James joins the rotation like permanently. Andre Green is a transfer, so he won't be playing this year. But we've got Reggie Brown. Leon Horton is also a transfer, so he won't play. But we got Troy Lewis. So our slot receiver is going to be 66 overall. 73 left tackle, 69 left guard. Ew, yeah. I don't think we're winning a, a national championship this next year, that's for sure. Coney's going to go to right end. DT looks really bad. I wonder if we can juice that up a little bit. Yeah, we can. Okay, so Jalen Green's going to go to defensive tackle. Of course, we still have Torres Jones, who'll be returning. And we still have Jalen Walker. So everything's still good in that aspect. I want to get a look at this. Surratt, 85 overall. Not bad. Q Reed, it goes up to an 84. Maybe we should move Q Reed to strong safety. That might be the play. It's going to have to be Latrell as our starting running back. He's just too good. 85 overall. Yeah, Reed has to go to strong safety. There's no doubts about it. Torres Jones goes up to an 84. He only gets one excel and one speed, though, which is kind of a slap in the face. I thought he might have gone up a bit more than that. Power move goes up quite a bit, though, so blitzing might not be as difficult. Yeah, he's pretty good. I like it. Right tackle's up to 84. Jalen Walker goes up to 84. That's understandable. Zach Horton becomes probably our biggest target. Uh, he's up to an 84. This team just doesn't seem 
the best. And then the question is, where do our one stars fit in? Well, I tell you what, the one stars really don't fit in anywhere. All right, depth chart. This is uh, where we're going to make some power plays. So Jamar Russell, true freshman. We didn't really get a look at his stats, but 85 XL, 82 speed, 79 agility. He's a really good wide receiver as well. Just FYI, great jumping. 84 throw power, 83 accuracy. So this year again, we're entitled to one five-star player, but a bunch of two stars. So I'm thinking this year, it probably should be defense. Not sure where that's going to be yet, but it will be defense. 87. Okay, so Jamar Russell's not very injury prone. That's really good. The running backs look fine. Genuinely pretty content with that. Torres Jones getting a star. We have Devin Coles slotting in. He's a cornerback, so whatever. Daylon Walker, that's good. Cornerbacks are all 80 plus, so that shouldn't be bad. I'm actually going to move Austin to starting cornerback. He has better speed and better excel. We kept getting burnt. Well, Coakley kept getting burnt. He only has 83 speed. It might even be high key worth putting Meredith up here. Yeah, we can't move Q Reed over. That doesn't really make sense. Devin Cole fits in really nicely though. So what is Devin Cole? Like, where is this guy? He's a 79 cornerback, but he's also playing backup middle linebacker, but he's also now playing strong safety and he's really good at it. Devin Cole's going to be somebody to watch. Chuck Wunike is an All-American. I uh, didn't expect that. Maybe we can move Chuck Wunike in a cornerback? Is that possible? He'd be a great linebacker, though. Chuck Wunike can play left outside linebacker. You know what? That's I think that's what I'm going to do. Because now we have a lot more speed at the position, at least. 91 XL. Oh, man. Look at the hit power difference, though. Nah, it has to be Hendrick, but we have to find a way to slot in Chuck Wunike. Maybe backup middle linebacker? Hold on a second, but he also has great juke, great spin. Chuck Wunike, low-key a wide receiver? I'm going to try him out. I'm not even trolling because Lewis is not very good. He's only 70. He's number 34. We're going to have to change up the number for sure. If he drops a lot of balls, I will move him. Meredith is going to be uh, definitely our punt and kick returner without a doubt. The dude balled out. Let's take on Cal. I like the idea of taking on Cal. We owe ourselves a home game, so let's make that sit. So that's not bad. UCF, Cal, Pittsburgh, Auburn. We're traveling all around the nation. Then we... I didn't put us in the Sun Belt. Oh, no. I'm going to have to do all this again, aren't I? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the rest of the teams in here. I know a lot of these teams aren't in the Sun Belt, but I went ahead and added App State, Coastal, and Marshall all over here as well. If I take a team out, though, we don't get the division. So I have to keep all of these teams in. This looks pretty good. I'm actually happy with this. Roger Carjan's wearing here as well. All right, we're good to go, finally. All right, sweet. So we got Ohio State to start off on the road. That's probably going to be our first loss right there. Then we play the second annual Aloha Bowl in week two. And then we just get right on into conference play. The last game of the season as well is against FAU, but they're not in conference anymore. So we could change this up as well. I don't want somebody too hard, but I don't want somebody too easy either. In the last custom schedule, UCF was on there. So I think I'll put UCF on and we'll make it a road game as well. So not bad. We finished the season with UCF, Aloha Bowl week two, Ohio State week one. I'm going to set up the recruiting board offline. There's a lot to go through with the two stars. But fellas, that is going to wrap up the off season. If you made it this far in the video, you are the real MVP. I hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Sometimes I wonder, can I breathe right underwater? Sometimes I wonder, can I speak in outer space? Sometimes I wonder, can I call up?